Welcome to season four, guys. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The road ahead, it twists and turns, and the sun beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. And every step quicker than the last, my feet tread down this beaten path, and I keep, keep on pushing through. Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground We were planning to go to Ontario. It's not working out because our truck is still in the shop. Uh, we had plans to even make it as far as New Brunswick. Um, Quebec and New Brunswick. And we have no idea what that's going to look like. Yeah, and so... Or if our truck will ever be fixed. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm sure it will be. So we are learning to be flexible and be okay with the time that we have before the snow flies. We had everything planned out. It's all on a spreadsheet. It all looks beautiful, but life doesn't always allow us to do those types of things. But anyways, we're hitting the road in this video and we're so glad that you're here with us. And we're heading all the way out to Jasper. And we're excited about that. There's not as much room as you might think in here. I know. I like, the van is the way to go. Although this is a much cooler vehicle. Carlos, no dancing in the vehicle. I still remember your number. Can see those digits by heart. With that first drink of the summer, I think about when you are. On the internet, you don't fail me now. It says you got full bars. Fail, but it's like, oh, oh, confirmed. There we go. We have a place in Jasper. Yeah. For me. Oh. Never go through the Tim Hortons drive-through. In the Canada. Canada. They don't need uh, why? Mm -hmm. They the problem with Tim Hortons drive-through is this: they added too much to their menu, menu yeah. and they can't. It's no longer just. It's no longer fast. It's not coffee and, coffee and donuts and stuff like that. It's would you like this dipping sauce with your new sandwich that takes 14 hours yeah. to put together? So it's not efficient at all. But this line, like people shouldn't be ordering the, their donuts. Well, it's, it's only nine. Yeah. They shouldn't, but they're all ordering breakfast sandwiches. And some fancy. No, meat. now we made Brayden want a breakfast sandwich. Oh, Dad! I need food. Oh, oh my goodness, we found the cooler! <laughs> it was covered up in like stuff. How many of you guys travel like this? Because this is what we travel. There's nobody in this parking lot. It's too cold. I think there is a gate up ahead. <laughs> what did it say? Mask required at gate? Yes. Mask required at gate. So it's again. in my pocket. Ah! More important than your seatbelt is your mask. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. You too. I did not realize that when we were originally looking at coming here that Elk Island is actually a I national park. I think the park. bisons are actually coming across the road right now. They call it Elk Island, but what well, it's really it's, Bison Island. Just well, there's there's more by there's a big larger population of bison here than there is of elk. Oh yeah. 
But it also said there's more bison now than in like 18 whatever. Oh yeah. It's because they killed all of them. Yeah. What if this one looks like maybe that you can do Oh, too close. Sorry. Can we see your medal? Oh, have you been bad or is that a good thing? <laughs> okay. There's specifically a no kite flying sign. <laughs> what does that mean? Why? How many people are trying to fly kites Maybe here? the bison get really spooked. Well, I, I guess they would get really spooked with the kite, but... But it's also maybe really Sun. If you can't get it out, you look at like a light or something brighter and then it makes you sneeze or to you get can, it out. Or you can, I don't know about that. Or yeah, you can, I'm serious. Or you can think of watermelons. Is that a real thing? I don't think You think of watermelons thing. and, and it, it stops, makes you sneeze? And it stops you from sneezing. Oh, I'll try that next time. <laughs> I have to sneeze watermelon. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I feel so much it better. It worked. What? Who told you that? Faith did and I tried it. And it stopped you from sneezing. Yeah, you have to say watermelon. You say it or you think it. Living Waters Boardwalk, that's where we're gonna go do, but it's so windy out there that we're but it's probably nap not time. Time. <laughs> Get out. How cool were those bison though? Yeah, they were super cool. you like them? yeah the bison oh are God. cool. There's hey, so Mom, many. Look at my hair, it can stand straight okay. up. Okay. Let's look. <laughs> Woohoo! I wanna see my hair! Okay, you do it. <laughs> this is what we've been driving in all day long and I can't imagine actually pulling the camper today in this way. It'd be so much fun. Shouldn't go swimming? Shouldn't swim or drink the water. Not that I would have been tempted. your assessment of the toilet situation. It's very clean and good and there's no one in there. <laughs> so go for it. Yeah. Should we go down the Lakeview Trail here? No, it's too long. It's not that long actually. Then why is there so many lakes? Uh, I don't know. That looks too windy. It's probably going to be windy. Oh, very cool. There's a fireplace in here. This is also wheelchair friendly. Yeah. There's been a fire at some point. Yes. Ugh. Wow. One thing that we don't know is if there are bison on the trail that we're on. 
still windy, but we're in the trees. So far we've seen no bison sign. But I can't imagine walking down this trail and there being a herd of bison walking down it as well. Trone, pretty nice hike. Time for the room rating with Braden Bankert. This hotel room we just stayed in, it had two queen size beds. Then there was a small couch that just looked kind of awkward, but it was actually basically like a twin pillow bed. And then on the other side of the room, there was a balcony that overlooked the pool. And the pool in this hotel was pretty sweet. They, they had a kiddie pool, obviously a pool, two water slides, and then a hot tub. The bathroom was pretty standard. There was a refrigerator, mini, a microwave, coffee maker, desk, and a TV. So all in all, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Yeah, Travel Lodge in Saskatoon. That's all for room writing with Brayden. These are huge trees that have fallen down the swamp a long time ago. Give it a hug, Brooklyn. Has anyone told you you're a beautiful flower just awaiting to bloom? If you hop in the car and leave the doubt on the curb, we'll find a beautiful view. There ain't no monsters left in the dark Ain't no excuses left in the room If this is where the future can start Then I'm glad I'm here next to you If you move it So part of season four this year is we are going to try to make it as far as we can into Ontario and until our truck is fixed we don't have no idea what that's going to look like. So once again, we're going to be pivoting. Pivot! 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 Maybe we can make it still out to New Brunswick. Pivoting like that. Yeah, in the snow. I don't know, it might be a warm November. Help! I don't think that that Dad. will work, but. You can dream. We will dream. This is a legit thatch roof house. Can't imagine actually trying to put that together. Do the plans that you make and feel like you're compromising everything that you want. There ain't no monsters left in the dark. Ain't no excuses left in the room. If this is where the future can start. And I'm glad I'm here next to you. If you move with your soul and you forget what you told. Look at the wooden pegs. Like nowadays we wouldn't use that to build anything. Unless you're making it just pretty authentic. Food. Yeah, I don't know. Because this definitely doesn't feel old at all. This well this has been redone at least. Sniff it. Sniff it. <laughs> it smells, smells like, like nothing. nothing, so it's not old. I'm impressed with how many picnic tables are everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's just tons and tons of picnic tables. We have seen quite a few bison and these trails go right beside them. So, which is interesting because all the bison that I know will try and attack someone as soon as they see them. Hopefully these ones are not the same. Pet the bison! Oh man, that's close. Oh, buddy. Look at the size of its head. Oh my gosh, that was close. I, could, I was a little bit scared.
We have found some goats. This is always your like what you're always looking for, Richard, when we come to the mountains and here wow. they are. Oh look, they're looking at us. I know they're looking at us over there. Should we just walk to see how close we can get? No, no. Why? They're not like big dangerous animals. They're all just staring at us. Oh, well, might as well go have a look. No. It's probably as close as they're going to let us get to them. Hi, buddies. Welcome to Jasper. <laughs> what do you think? I love goats. I love goats. Something that we've been discussing is how to make more of a difference in people's lives as a family. So we've decided that each season we will bring awareness to a program or a ministry that is near our hearts. Ever since I was young, I dreamed about going to Africa as a missionary. Um, but as it so happened, I've never made my way across the ocean. But this particular ministry that we've chosen stirs within me how we can make a difference even from where we are now. So for season four, we want to tell you about Molly Children's Family. Molly Children's Family rescues Africa's most vulnerable children in Kenya, giving them the opportunity to survive and to develop to their full potential. These children include abandoned babies, orphans, boys forced into child labor, young teenage mothers, and little girls forced into the sex trade. Each child is received into their large family and receives shelter, food, education, health care, counseling, and parental love. Currently, they have 4,000 children in their family. Since 1989, 23,000 children have gone through their program. If every child in Africa had the opportunity to develop to their full potential, they could change the continent. You can learn more at mcfcanada.org.